Uh, as is known that the majority of population in the state of Meghalaya is that of beef eaters. With the government banning consumption of beef in mainland India, people have an idea that the government is trying to control the very food habits of the citizens of a democratic nation. If beef is to be banned because of religious reasons, isn't it against the idea of secularism? And if it is for the environmental point of view, as you said, why not mutton ban or chicken ban, which are also reasons for greenhouse gas emission? The reason why it is banned in many major states in the thing and at the same time they have not touched this here is, in those states there is a huge emotion about that. Democracy, you talked about secularism, democracy is always about considering the concerns of the people. When there is such a big emotion, it's better you take that into thing and everybody thinks this law came in the last four years. No, this law has been there since 1950. So this has been the way we have been running the country. We make a law and we don't have the courage to implement it. Now some hothead on the street, he decides to enforce the law. When mob tries to enforce the law, it will happen in cruel ways. It will happen in ridiculous and uh, in archaic ways of doing things. So this is something we must decide. If we make a law, do we have the courage to implement the law? Do we have the means to implement the law? Otherwise, better there is no such law. So now, in the major states, if you do not implement it, there will be backlashes, there will be violence. So implement it, there is some kind of grouse happening, a small group of people. It's better to manage them rather than create a on-the-street battleground, okay? You don't want that right now because we are poised for economic development, Everything is being done to see social unrest doesn't happen. So here traditionally, see even in India, the… <laughs> this is a very gender-biased law. You can only not slaughter a female cow. You can slaughter a bull, you can slaughter a buffalo. Look at this, gender discrimination. <laughs> you can slaughter me but not you <laughs> Only cow protection because in this culture, this is a pastoral culture, where we have an understanding. Now it's different, but in the past, if there is a bad agricultural year, if there is a famine, we used to have serious famines in this country, if there is a famine, if I have two cows in my house, my children will live. You don't have cows, your children will die. This is a wisdom, stuck in people's minds. So when because of my cow, my children lived, I worship this cow because this is the source of my life and my progeny. So there is a very deep engagement with the cow, in the sense when I was growing up, we were never fed milk from multiple cows. That specific cow, it has a name and every day they will take you there and you at least give something, you know one banana, one little grass or something to the cow and always my grandmother will be saying that, this is the… you're like your mother, you're drinking milk from this cow, you must be always grateful to this cow, this kind of thing. Like there's a huge emotion between you and that cow because you're drinking its milk biologically and emotionally you're connected. You're not drinking uh, dairy milk which is million cows and buffaloes and we don't know what else. So this has been the culture. Because of that, because we've drunk the milk of this cow, if we tomorrow want to eat the cow, that is considered cannibalism, not cow slaughter. I want you to understand this. It is deep-rooted in us because like our mother, this cow gave us milk. Tomorrow how to kill it and eat it up, this is considered cannibalism. And we said, you never kill the cow. It is not… it is not a religion, it's a certain sense of humanity. Humanity finds expression in various kinds of aesthetics. This is our aesthetic. What about the minorities living in those areas, Sadhguru? They can eat whatever else they want. But when it is imposed, the ban is imposed, they, they cannot. Suppose I like to eat you. <laughs> you denying me my food. I enjoy human flesh. How can you pass a law against it, I'm asking? Hello? There, there is a law already that <laughs> you, you cannot eat humans but that is that, what a, there I is mean, already the a law that you can't eat a cow. passing of the law itself. No, no, I'm saying, see, you cannot eat a human being. Why? Because it's a human being. 
Now, we drank the milk of the cow, we have shared emotions with the cow. We don't see it as separate because in the villages, the cow lives in your house. There is no barn somewhere, it lives with you in the same house. So what is grown up with you, lived with you, shared life with you, you don't suddenly kill and eat it. Then you can as well eat your mother, what's the problem? I'm saying, what's the problem? It's good food. So I have taste for human flesh, how can you stop me from eating it? Don't start such an argument, it's not good. <laughs>